Do you hear that? It's after five o'clock. The yard work should be done already. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug is a mug that my daughter got me, I believe in September. It might have been in August, but I believe it's in September. And it's a nice, bright, colorful, mandala type mug. I just really wanted to use this today. I kind of need some bright, cheerful things going on. I'm filming on election day. So yeah, needed some really nice bright things. Anyway, in our mandala mug is the Tivana Jade Citrus Mint Green Tea. This has uh, green tea, spearmint, lemon verbena, lemongrass, and natural flavor. Now, you know, I don't particularly like a spearmint that much. However, in this tea, I do believe it. I recall I really did enjoy it. And I just wanted something that to be kind of a pick me up today. So let's give this a sip so we can go ahead and get started. And please excuse the noise in the background. It's late. And they're still doing yard work. Let's give her a sip. She smells beautiful. Already getting the mint. It is um, a little on the lighter side because we just started steeping, but already getting the mint and it's mixing with my the sugar that I put in there really, really well. Uh, I got this at uh, Kroger, um, so I imagine it's uh, in other grocery stores. Um, I think our Kroger only has three or four, three maybe three different flavors of the Tivana, and I really want to try more of their teas at some point in the future. At any rate, so today we are doing a bonus video, and our bonus video is going to have two things. We have our Jenny Bell, and we actually have an indie brand, and there's a story behind the indie brand, so I'm going to open the indie brand first. So Eden Body Works sent us a card, uh, like a like a card. This is actually the card. And it says, Hey, Eden Curl friend, thank you for joining us along this journey of ambassadorship. The time and effort you've contributed to Eden over the past few months is truly appreciated. Through this program, it's our hope that you've gained community, tapped into your creativity, honed your content creating skills, and opened the doors to new opportunities. What a pleasure it's been having you be a part of the Eden family. Naturally yours, uh, Brian, I can't even read the name. I talk, I, I email her every month with my stuff to get approved and I can't even, anyway, Brianna, it's Brianna. Anyway, assistant marketing manager, team Eden. And then on the back, it says, treat yourself to something nice while supporting some of the black owned businesses we love. Now I did not get anything off this black owned business list here. Uh, I looked at them and I checked some of them out, uh, but I wanted something more permanent. And they sent along a gift card. The gift card, um, well, it had a certain amount of money on it. And I, like I said, I wanted something more permanent. So I picked up some um, Culture Cross earrings. You've seen me wear them before. Uh, they have my big fans and also they have one of the one of the drops i've worn before uh, the over the ear um they call them cuffs but i don't know if that would be a cuff but at any rate uh so i've ordered another set of earrings from that something that would uh reflect and remind me of eden body works and is permanent unlike makeup or skincare or anything of that nature and um the set that i ordered uh, was $35, I think, and it was less than the card. So I had to go hunting down a way to use up the rest of this gift card. And one of the ways I was going to try to do it initially was to order from, um, uh, a, uh, indie brand. Uh, I had problems getting the gift card to be usable for some reason though. And then I tried to go through um, Afterpay and tried to add it to my Afterpay and Afterpay wouldn't add it. I did finally get to use it on Amazon, got another pair of earrings, but 
not as nice as the culture cross but i got another pair of earrings that i actually really like but in the process of trying to do all that i put in this order and i was going to try to use the gift card and i was going to try to use the gift card on afterpay and none of that worked i couldn't figure out how to get it to work and then the next thing i knew i had this order so um i'm interested in what i have in here but at the same time, it wasn't my intent to actually purchase another indie brand right now. Um, I'm trying to hold off on a lot of the indie brands because uh, next year for 2021, I actually want to focus on uh, uh, brands owned by people of color. And I'm starting to collect that list. And I can't, I don't know if this is one of them. But at any rate, because of the trying to do all this, I do have this indie brand. Um, it is lipsticks. And this is from Makeup Preview Cosmetics. And I got three of their matte liquid lipsticks. These were, I believe, $16 a piece. It doesn't say. And I don't even remember if this was one of the ones that I had at um, the website, my um, Dommy Tries This Facebook group. Uh, there's one down there that I really want to try. I can't remember if one of these is one of them. It'd be nice if it was, huh? <laughs> but anyway, we are going to go ahead and open these up and I will swatch them for you. Here's what the box looks like for the, uh, the lipsticks. Like I said, there's only three of them, and I just, ooh. Okay, so this one is in the color Medusa. Here's what the packaging looks like. I really kind of like that kind of slanted, tapered thing. You can see uh, MP on here for makeup preview. The, this feels really nice. This looks really nice. So we're going to open this up. And that's pretty. That's a very deep red. That is gorgeous, actually. That is really, really pretty. So that one is in Medusa. And then we have, pull this out of the box. This one's a little lighter, a lot lighter. This is a surprise me. And there you can see that same kind of packaging. You can see the MP a little bit more clearly on there. And again, going to go like that. And this one is more of a pinky color. That's, a, that's pretty though. That's gonna be really nice. It's like a berry pink. It's not like a really Barbie pink and it's not like a, um, a hot pink or anything like that. All right, so, and the last one I have is, uh, the way they do these boxes, you can actually see your thing on the end, but I'm just pulling them out. Really sorry about the, the noise in the background, guys. They're it's supposed to be done, really. They should be done by now. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, okay. So this one is more of a pinky purple. And this is in the color kind of crazy, which works for me. I suspect this is going to be more pinky than I want. Uh, no, that's very purpley. It's a, definitely a pinky purple, but it's very purpley. That's pretty. At least on there, it's gorgeous. I'm going to put this one on. Let's put this one on. Hold, please. All right, got that uh, colored rain combination that I was wearing off my lips and my teeth. You guys should have told me it was on my teeth, but off my teeth. Let's see how this swipes real quick. Eh. Has some staying power. Okay, has a bit of staying power. That red does not want to come off. It's still there just a little bit. Anyway, um, and I applied my ColourPop primer, which I put on especially under um, matte lipsticks, but I wear it under pretty much everything. So here we go. That 
was very, very easy. This is also much brighter than I expected it to be. Um, that went on really nice. Uh, I don't even feel it right now, which is really interesting. We'll see how it dries down and we'll talk about it then. Uh, but this pink is definitely a bit brighter than I expected it to be. I just purple. But anyway, so those are from Makeup Preview. Let dry for 45 seconds. I feel them starting to dry down. The only thing I can see being a problem right now is they're kind of they're kind of sticky. Um, is that uh, once they do dry down, I won't have that slip that I like to have. But it is very very comfortable. I'm very impressed. They don't feel like they're drying or cracking or anything at all. We'll get back to them in a little bit. We are going to open up our Jenny Bell, whom I love. I sent her a couple of requests and I sent her one very specific one this time. We will see if she managed to find the pieces because she did say that the problem may be finding all the pieces for it. Uh, she hadn't seen what one of the things we would need for it, but we're going to go ahead and open up our smile mail. We love our smile mail, Jenny. Gonna see. Y'all know I love her earrings. I adore her earrings. Adore them. Adore them. I recently went through all my earrings and started getting rid of some of them because I have way too many. And most of the ones I got rid of, I think I got rid of one or two pairs of uh, Jenny from earlier. Uh, they were not the long chandeliers. They were shorter than that. And um, I believe one of them at least uh, kind of went into like, um, was too brown. So my hair, you know, at any rate, I love, 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 love her earrings. And I've kept everything else. So we've got this. Oh, oh, oh my. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit Oh, there's stuff in here. There's lots of stuff. All right, so I'm going to put these earrings down. It looks like, from what I'm seeing from the edges, um, we're going to match again today. Let's start with the card, though. All right, so our box is empty. So the Jenny Bell subscription is the earrings of the month. Uh, happily offer 100% satisfaction guaranteed, so please allow me to address any concern you may have before feedback. And she has her email, Jenny Bell, um, contains small parts, not for children. Retail value is $26.95 and up. Uh, that used to be $21.95 and up. So she's adding more value, but some of that may also be uh, time and stuff like that. And then, of course, she always sends something a little extra. And today she sent some more sticky notes because I love sticky notes. And we've got a card. This is pretty. This shows you some of, because she has the earrings, and you can also do paper crafts. You can get custom-made cards. Um, and uh, stuff. I think it's just cards. But um, note cards like this. This is beautiful. Look at this. It says, thank you, Dami. It has a nice ribbon on it. Everything is upraised. You can see the work that she has put into that. And then when you open up the inside, we have our little note. Hi, Dami. Thank you so much for your subscription. I really appreciate it. I'm looking for findings for your request, which I hope I can find. Love the ideas. This was a request that my husband actually wanted. So she's looking for them. Telling, I keep telling you guys, she is very, very responsive to her subscribers. I hope you enjoy these colorful chandeliers. It was so fun to design these for you. Please take care, Jenny. And again, these are the types of cards that if you uh, join for the cards or the earrings, um, these are the kind of cards you can get from her the paper part of her subscription option. And you can actually get both. You can actually get both cards and earrings if you want. And then she has this envelope with a uh, paper that you fill out. It says, thank you so much, Dami. It is an honor and pleasure to create for you. Jenny Bell Earrings of the Month preference sheet. And you just fill this out. You tell her what colors you want. Uh, do you want charms, chandeliers, dangles, crystals, rhinestones, or others? You can fill that in. Uh, send me Christmas star earrings. You can click that off. 
Uh, you prefer ear post wires or variety. If you like charm earrings, he has a long list of charms you can choose from. And you can even choose how long. And your birth, birth date. She likes to know when your birth date is. And she wants to know how did you like the last crate and how can I improve? So you can put all of that on this card. She sends you a stamped self-addressed envelope so you can send those back. And there's that. And then we have our earrings, which are tucked up in a really big thing. Uh, this says, take this out. Here's a one-of-kind multicolored bead and pink feather chandelier earrings. They are sure to attract attention with pretty bright and happy colors, gorgeous findings, and detailed metal beads. They also have pretty antique silver swirl ear wires. Retail value at $34.95. You will always get a little card that explains your earrings and the value of them. So that's cool. So let's open these up. Ah, always, always, always excited with her stuff. Always excited with her stuff. We have dry. There's slight stickiness. It's not horrible. And it's feeling very comfortable. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're going to flip these down so you guys can actually... Those are colorful. Those are beautiful. Wow. And she knows I like feathers. Lots of feathers. Those are so pretty. That's gorgeous. All right, so we're going to take these off. These are not Jenny Bell earrings. These are actually rather old. I've had them for several years. We've got this bright lipstick on. Let's try these bright earrings. Those are pretty. Uh, let me uh, put this up close. Look at that. Look at those details. Look at the stuff that she finds to put in the earrings. Those are gorgeous. These are beautiful and bright. She's right. I really love bright colors. You all know that. So this is perfect. Put that on. Give that a bit of a squeeze. They're nice and long. I don't wear many necklaces. I have several that I keep that I do try to wear, including a couple from Jenny. Um, but because I prefer these really long earrings that will show up outside of my hair, I don't, I don't wear too much necklaces. They clash. Or I have to wear them so they're so long that you really can't see them. But, oh, they're beautiful, Jenny. They're gorgeous. And they do match the lipstick almost. At least in saturation. <laughs> they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. Oh, I love them. I love them. And I love them really long like this. And she says two inches, but these have got to be what? Four, five inches long. So that's beautiful. And they show up. They're perfect. Thank you so much, Jenny. And that is it for the day. And I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, please subscribe. When you subscribe, please hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I swear I can talk. If I didn't have stumble at least once during these videos, it wouldn't be me. Anyway, so hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week. That would be Monday and Thursday. Uh, except we do bonus videos like this where I open indie brands. Or my Jenny Bell with the indie brands. And my son opens his uh, opens a box every month. We are switching boxes, so he will not have one for November. Yeah, November. <laughs> might have been October. We might see something late in November. I don't know. But his dad is looking for a new box. The My Geek Box took out the t-shirt. And the uh, interest in the box is just not as good as it was. It's not, it's not as good as a box. At any rate, so he opens his box almost every month. He's getting a break this month, but hopefully he'll be back in, at least in December, uh, if not later in November. And if you send anything, well, that gets opened as a bonus video as well, unless you ask me not to. Do you know, you can just put a note in the box. Or you can join the Dami Tries This Facebook group, which is listed down below. And let me know on there that you have sent me something and you do not wish to be embarrassed by having me open it here on the channel. Hmm. I, I No, I admit it. I can be kind of embarrassing. I, I realize I can be kind of embarrassing. I know. So if you make that request, I won't open it. 
honest, I won't, I won't, I won't put it up on the channel at all. I might start it and then I won't, I won't send it on over. At any rate, if you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. And if you choose not to subscribe, I would be very disappointed. However, you are always welcome back here. And when you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Alrighty, so we have sat here for at least 20 minutes. Uh, this should be at full strength. I'm looking forward to giving it a taste and then we can be on our way. Mmm. Oh. That is a beautiful tea. That is a very beautiful tea. I will say, though, and this may be because of the fact that I do wear the uh, primer underneath. Uh, obviously, it's there's, there's transfer. But like I said, that could be the primer underneath. It is very comfortable on the lips still. Not really sticky. I'm feeling a little bit, but like I said, that also could be from the primer. At any rate, that's it. Hope you have a good one.